Hey, it's Mission Native Survival. I'm watching my dad's house for a couple days, so we're probably going to hear some construction and stuff going on through the woods, things like that. But while I'm here, I found some sheep sorrel. Let's go over it. Alright, so we have a nice little uh, section of moss right here. And I found three, four plants right here. So I'll zoom in for you. And that's what we're looking for. Now sheep sorrel, very easy to identify. Because it has this arrowhead like shape. So I'll bring that close to you guys and show you what I mean. Alright, so as you can see, it has an uh, arrowhead like shape, but it has these two little tails at the bottom. Well, it's very easy to identify, you really can't miss it. Alright, so here I have a couple of them. Maybe like four of them. Alright. What do you got today? Mmm. <laughs> Love this stuff. Um, tastes uh, almost identical to wood sorrel. Um, you might remember that wood sorrel tastes like, um, kind of like lemons. Tastes like uh, apple rinds or, or lemons, things like that. It's a very kind of, kind of bright flavor, you know? And, um, you know, that's really one of my favorite flavors in the woods. Is, you know, you, you get a lot of plants that, like the clovers and stuff, that just taste kind of kind of bland to me. You know, they don't really taste quite as delicious as sorrel or wintergreen. Um, I'm a huge fan of eating sorrel. I usually eat wood sorrel. And uh, I'm really excited today to find some sheep sorrel. And uh, as you can see, it's really, really easy to identify. And it likes to grow in these um, little clumps where it's almost like a basil rosette, almost. Where they're all kind of in the same, the same spot growing from the same area. So when you find them, you know, it's not like one little sprout, you eat it and it's gone. You know, there's a whole bunch there and they usually like to grow in little colonies. So you can take, you know, a bunch from each one and, you know, they're still thriving. You didn't kill any of them, so they're going to be there tomorrow. It's not like you eat them all and then tomorrow you're hungry. Right? So when you find them, it's a bunch to eat, and because they like to grow with so many at a time, so many leaves, that you can forage quite a bit off of each one, just a couple, all together adding up to a good amount of food and good amount of vitamins and all that, and it really doesn't hurt the plant. Alright, so just to give you an idea, we have one right here, then we have one right here, so one right here, right here. Right here, it's another one right here, it's another one right here. So they really do prefer company, you know. This little area has probably a dozen of them growing. All right, so look, one, uh, one more thing I want to go over real quick. You know, I've seen some uh, videos and things about uh, you know winter edibles and you know just eating little bits of plants on the ground like this. And it's you know uh, it might be this, I think it's that. You can eat this. Don't worry about it. Things like that. No, <laughs> absolutely not. If you don't know the plant 100% period, you don't eat it. You do not eat it. It's not, I think it's this, I'm pretty sure it's this, it might be this. Yeah, yeah, I think it's this. This is edible. What are you basing that on, a guess? My life is worth more than a guess, right? So, never, ever, ever, never, ever eat a plant unless you know 100% without a doubt that it's edible. Now, um, out of all the plants that the human species have categorized and actually know, only 5% of them are edible to us. 95% of them are poison. Real poison. Not just, you know, uh, could be poison. As in mildly poison. No, no, no. Poison. 95%. It's pretty intense. 5% we can eat. So, keep that in mind, you know? I think it's this, I think it's that. I'm pretty sure you can eat that. 
No. No thanks. I'm gonna stick to things I do know, right? All right, the book. So let's go to page 116. You're gonna see sheep or common sorrel. It's under uh, slender clusters or ti uh, I'm sorry, of tiny flowers. And I went around and found one. I wanted to show you. As they uh, get older, they get a little red on their stem. I want to add that in there. I don't think the book mentions that. But uh, on page 117, right next to it, we have uh, sheep sore right here. So you can see, our head design with the two tails. Right. Okay, so at the bottom, sheep sorrel. Tender leaves and stems. Okay, sour taste. Small owl shaped leaves. Alright. Uh, let's see, uh, branching spikes, reddish or greenish. It's in poor soil, thin fields, roadsides, things like that. It's flowering in June to, uh, June to October. So it's only, uh, it's only March right now, so that's why it's, you know, obviously not at that point. Now, uh, you can eat in a salad, of course, which is just, you know, raw with a bunch of other stuff. Cooked green, you know, uh, basically you can you can do this, um, do this plant pretty much any way that you can eat um, wood sorrel, which would be, you know, eating it raw just like it is, eating it with other plants, obviously. Um, you know, uh, uh, throwing it into a, a billy can or, or, or what have you uh, for a nice little stew, where if you're, you know, cooking up a rabbit or something and you're just kind of stewing it all together, um, you can throw this in there. Um, you can steam it if you have the ability to steam, or if you know how to do that, it's not a problem. Um, kind of interesting uh, cold drink because they're kind of lemon, lemon flavoring, like I mentioned. Um, you can steep it in water. Um, it's basically just making a, a longer infusion, so 10 to 15 minutes, just like it says, and um, you know, chill and sweetened. I've never actually tried that, so uh, I think I might have to try that. But basically, it's. Um, it's used the same way as sheep. Uh, I'm sorry, as wood sorrel, but it's sheep sorrel. Okay, so it's really delicious. It's really accessible. When you find it, there's a bunch of them that grow together. They like to grow in nice thick clumps, and they're really um, identifiable. And the cool thing about this plant is that it prefers to be in open area. You know, um, in other words, you know, like um, fields and and. Um, you know, just like plains, you know, it's like where there's, where there's grass and other things, so not in the woods, right? Which is kind of cool, because woods... Sorry, it's really intense today. Okay, because wood sorrel, sounds like somebody's processing wood too. Sorry about that, I apologize. Um, wood sorrel is, is in the woods, and wood sorrel prefers a lot of shade, and it prefers to be, um, you know, around trees and things like that, where sheep sorrel prefers the opposite. I think that's really awesome because, you know, it gives you two different bioregions um, to get a plant that's basically the same plant. You know, it, it tastes the same um, and it can be used the same. I think this is a great addition and I wanted to pass it on to you guys today. Alright, so we mentioned Native Survival. Appreciate your views, your comments, your support. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.